like, if you just gotta fight like an extremely slow pace, I can do that. But... At least he's not the the, 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 roar, the top of Roy that's like, oh, I'm just... Wilder's stamina is broken. Wilder's broken. Okay, what are y'all saying that's broken about him? Maybe if you use loose movement and step a lot, it drains more stamina. I don't even use loose movement like that. I tried to enjoy Undisputed, but it was only fun for a few hours. You're bugging, Mugen. How do you feel about clicking the left stick to sway? It has its purposes, but you got to use it when you know something's coming. So, like, early on, I don't really use it that much. I add more sways and stuff as the fight goes on. It, especially if I'm doing, like, counter punching or I'm trying to fight, like, more technical. So, you'll probably see it like that. For example, I have no problem doing the sway there. I know he's going to jab or he's going to straight, and I'm going to come back with a pullback. But mostly I like to set up it through my counters, through block counters or like movement, movement counters. But with Roy, he's so damn fast that it's hard to even get the movement counter off. And by the time you go to throw back, the two, two punches are already coming at you. So against Roy, you got to fight a real slow fight. I can stay way too far. It's really hard to get inside with him. I really don't get why they put in an 84 as the standard alternative to Roy 93, but okay. I hate mirror patches. Um, but Nigel feels he can win the matchup. It's just when a, 
when you fight like a Roy that's fighting technical like this, yeah, it's it's hard. But the answer was you can just outpower him. But now you can't really do that because then you're gonna lose too much stamina. So it's like I'm trying to find a, a, a different alternative right now. Cause I don't care if you hit me with fifty or with like three pity shots, right? If I blast you with a left hook, you're gonna be pissed. So or like what is your little one or two shots to my to my three power shots that I did? So that was the counter to it before. But if you throw too many power shots now, you're gonna get too tired. So I just feel you gotta do it technically. Like you really gotta pick your shots now. Finding opportunities and stuff where you can push the pace or like even start breaking a dude down early. I, I don't even think that's worth trying to do anymore. Cause like Roy missing the amount of punches and stuff he's missing right now, that should be you know penalized. For those also wondering why I haven't been using loose movement. Because a lot of that is like a front. I don't like to use it early. Until I get my opponent worn down a little bit. Then I can start boxing them out, but I want them to be tired at first. This way it's a little bit, uh... Yeah, I just found the alternative. But that's that's the thing. Sometimes you gotta you gotta figure little things out first. Because my my style previously, I was really good at punishing people with power shots. Picking very good good opportunities and then blasting you with a power shot. But <laughs> that stamina system really just yeah, that crippled everything I was trying to do. So good thing we got other other tools in this in the tool set. So the the lead uppercut to the body is good as a counter. I see what you're saying. But you have to think about this. You can counter somebody well, and this is why I don't use it that much. 
every time I digged a, a mean uppercut counter to the body, I'll get blasted with a straight or a jab afterwards, and I'll get stunned. So that's why I don't use it that much. See, like I like to do that little time up, time up block, then counter. Like the sways, it's like it's it has its moments. If I want to hit somebody with a pullback, but generally speaking, I like to do block counters or like move my head slightly or a movement counter. Roy is too damn fast to really use a movement counter at the moment. He's because he's really hard to read. Man playing Roy only does keep out punches. There are times you can punch when stunned. Nine times out of ten, though, don't do it. But I'd be taking risks. <laughs> That's why I'm like fainting him now. Come out that zone now. Come out that zone. Cut that shit out. I know what you want to do. But this is why I was talking about these type of players, bro. I got to send a clip of this to Undisputed, bro. This is all Roy Jones players want to do. They want to stand still and just pop, 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 pop. Now he frustrated. Where where the penalty for this, chat? Yeah, I'm fainting him to draw it out. That's what I've been doing. But Bro, bro. Bro, he don't get tired. This is what I be talking about. You do not have to be good at Roy Jones, bro. <laughs> you cannot body shot somebody spam a one-two on you you're gonna get cracked you have to figure out the timing first then step in and, and then crack him but by the time you go for the body shot you're gonna eat two or three on the way out and that's exactly gonna continue to play into the game he wants you to do that's why I faint him first I faint him first and then after I faint him I take the outside from him because that's all he wants to do is stand still and just 
constantly do that. the hell? Oh, he quit. This Roy Jones is terrible. Stats are our final one here. <laughs> 